Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in, do I dare call this paradise, definitely call it the end times, here in the lovely town of Garden, Gardnerville, Nevada here on this absolutely beautiful Monday, July 18th, 2016. So. I'm supposed to be bringing you my global industrial economy taking down a planet rant today, but instead of going to the page of the mainstream media to bring you evidence of how the global industrial economy is taking down a planet, I'm just here in Gardnerville, Nevada demonstrating it as I become part of the global industrial economy taking down the planet. Your old doomsday tourist eco-Nazi, I am I am 90 minutes from my campsite in paradise along the uh, <coughs> banks of Buckeye Creek and getting kind of low on food and supplies and since Bridgeport California is the number one most expensive town in the country. I was actually heading to Carson City, Nevada, which is about 20 miles north of here, to go to the grocery outlet. We've done a rant on the gross out, the grocery outlet. Also, I want to hit the, the Dollar Tree where everything is still a dollar. But there's one of those in Gardnerville. So I was heading to the grocery outlet in, uh, in Carson City, Nevada, your old eco cheapskate, and voila, what do I find? And anyone who says it's not a bountiful universe is like the grand opening of the grocery outlet bargain market. Right here in the middle of this strip mall Gardnerville, uh, 90 minutes from my campsite, there is a brand new grocery outlet. Do you believe it? There is a God. And uh, so I'm going to go load up all my groceries for the end times and then head out to the Dollar Tree. Now, I might be facing a, an eco-Nazi conundrum here in Gardnerville if there's not a Home Depot, but hopefully there is. Uh, this is the fact that I need to buy some of those little Coleman fuel canisters, those little green Coleman fuel canisters for my little camp stove. I never needed a camp stove in my entire life for a couple of years ago, but... Uh, and it might be that the only place to buy one of these things is in a is in the Walmart. In the Walmart, which means I will have a decision to make. So uh, hopefully, somewhere in this town, other than Walmart, I can scare up some of those little planet-eating Coleman gas cylinders. Or if not. I might be bringing you a rant for my first trip inside a Walmart in eight years. But, uh, oh man, they have a Vietnamese restaurant here. A Vietnamese restaurant in this strip mall here in, uh, here in Middle America. Good Lord, that's calling me. And look at the gas at the Arco station across the street, $2.37 a gallon. In Bridgeport, California, the same gallon of gas will cost you $4. $4 versus $2.37. Uh, so anyway, let me wrap up this rant and head into the grocery outlet.
my day. Bye, guys.